What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and for those of you who are new, don't forget to subscribe down below if you do enjoy today's video. As you guys saw from the title and thumbnail already, today we're going to pick up a carbon fiber diffuser for the M5. Finally, so I found a super super good deal on one, I'm just hoping that it fits the M5. I know it would fit the bumper, but depending if it was made specifically for the M5 or for like an M Sport, um, I would have to adjust the exhaust, like get the exhaust redone to fit where like the exits of the carbon fiber diffuser. And I really don't want to mess with the exhaust, so hopefully it fits. If if it does we're definitely putting it on if not I'll, maybe i'll just try to resell it or something um but yeah i'm about to head out it is like an hour drive or so maybe a little bit more um so yeah so hopefully everything goes well and the diffuser fits the car so i'll see you guys when i do pick it up all right guys so i just met up with the seller and as you guys can see back there i got the diffuser um, it's not in perfect condition. It does have its flaws, but for the price that I got it for um, I'm pretty sure this one's gonna fit the M5 perfect. So for the price I got it You're not really gonna be able to see the flaws that it has. So I think it was a good purchase uh, I just hope it fits the way it's supposed to if it does then I think it was a good purchase But um, yeah, if not, we'll probably just try to resell it or something. But yeah guys a uh, huge shout out to Ivan he actually said he watches my videos, which is pretty cool. Anyways, I have a long drive home, guys, so I'll probably pick up the camera once I get home. If not, I'll probably pick it up tomorrow because I'll probably install it tomorrow. It's going to be too late today, and, like, it's just not going to look good if I record it. So, I'll probably install it tomorrow, so you guys will probably see me tomorrow. But, stay tuned, guys. Don't click out the video yet. All right, what's up, guys? So, it's now the next day, as you guys can tell. I got the diffuser right here. Uh, so, basically, guys, what happened is I think... Um, so this one is made specifically like for the M5 exhaust, like the way it's set up and stuff. He tried to put on his 550, so the tips were kind of touching the side. So I don't know if you guys can really see, but the sides got like slightly burnt. But I'm hoping, well actually yeah, you won't be able to see that once it's actually on the car. It would be pretty much hidden uh, from the exhaust tips. And for the most part, it's in pretty good condition. And you won't really be able to see too much of the flaws. Um, so yeah, we're about to put this on. I'm going to have to take the bumper off, take the diffuser off, uh, relocate the trunk sensor because this one has a sensor where you can like open it with your foot. Uh, so I have to relocate that. I'm not quite sure exactly what I have to do with all that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I'll let you guys know exactly what I end up doing. But for now, let me go ahead and take off the bumper. All right, guys, so to actually take off the bumper, um, if you go ahead and take this black piece off, it pretty much just slides off. I don't know if I'll be able to take it off with one hand, but there'll be a bolt right here. And the same thing over here is going to be a bolt. Uh, there should be, I believe, one bolt on uh, the side over here, as well as the other side. And then there's going to be about three or four bolts under the actual uh, bumper. I think it's going to be like on the actual diffuser, though. Uh, so, yeah, just take off all those bolts, and the bumper should slide right out. Just make sure that you don't really pull it too hard before you disconnect the PDCs and remove, like, the uh, trunk sensor and all that. So, um, so, yeah, let me go ahead and take it off real quick, and I'll get back to you guys once it's off. All right, guys, so the bumper is ready to be taken off. Uh, I did forget to mention, you might or might not have uh, screws right here on the liner. Uh, just make sure you take those out. Uh, so yeah, now let me go ahead and try to pull off the whole bumper. Just make sure you disconnect the PDCs before you completely pull it off. And just make sure there's no other wires or anything in the way. Um, so yeah, I just realized you might have clips right there on the bottom part of the bumper. Just make sure those are off as well before you pull it off because if not, it's not going to come off. Your side. All right, guys, so as you can see, the bumper is off. So um, if we come down here, this piece is one piece by itself. You guys can see what I'm talking about. I believe this is the piece you have to take off. And it has like a little module and a whole bunch of wires. And I think on that is the actual sensor to open the trunk with your foot. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to take this off and just find a way to relocate it. And then like probably zip tie those onto something else. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and figure that out real quick. And then we'll go ahead and put the diffuser on the bumper and install it. Uh, but yeah, I just got to figure this out real quick because I have no idea what I have to do. All right, guys. So, um, unfortunately, I didn't really record too much of the actual install. It's already on the car. We have it. We put everything back on. We bolted the bumper back on and everything. Um, but the reason I didn't record too much of the install was because it was kind of a pain in the butt to get everything aligned perfectly. And then we had to put little bolts on the tabs in the back for... Um, most of the tabs on the corners and edges. The middle was pretty good. There was really no issues there. It was mainly like the edges and uh, the corners that we kind of need to put bolts and like push it in as far as we can and just mess with it until we got like a decent fitment. And honestly, it looks really, really good for the price that I got it and everything. I just, I can't complain at all. Um, I'm really happy with the way it came out and like just the way it looked. Let me just go ahead and show you guys real quick. 
The lighting might not be the best right now, but as you guys can see, the diffuser is on and the carbon fibers just look so, so nice. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it looks so nice. And you guys can see the fitment is not the best, but it's not the worst either. Again, for the price, huge shout out to Ivan for hooking it up and stuff. Um, I can't complain. Another thing, um, most people take off that bracket that I was telling you guys about because the diffuser won't fit. Mine fit perfectly fine. Uh, the thing is that I'm not sure if the little kick to open feature is going to work anymore. Um, I was trying to mess with it to see how it works. I took off the bumper and tried it. It wasn't working. I put the bumper on with the diffuser. It wasn't working. Um, I I just I was messing with it for a little while and it just didn't work. I'm not too sure what the issue is. If you guys have any more information on this, go ahead and let me know in the comments below because I would like to fix it or I would at least like to have it working. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what I got to do. But yeah, everything is on exactly how it was OEM. The diffuser fit perfectly fine with the whole bracket on there and um, yeah, everything's on. Everything looks really nice and yeah, like I said, super happy with the way it came out. It looks so much nicer and so much more aggressive with the two fins in the back. Uh, again, I'm sorry I didn't show too much of the process. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt getting everything perfect and then I didn't want to be here like the whole entire day. And sometimes it's kind of hard getting the perfect angle because you're just like, we're moving the bumper back and forth and flipping all over the place. So I can't record perfectly exactly what we're doing. So sorry I was able to show you guys that, but you guys can see how it looks. And then you guys can see how it looks from under too. Looks super nice. And yeah, super happy with the way it came out, guys. Maybe I'll go ahead and give it a little wash later and show you guys a little cinematic or something. Stay tuned for that. Don't exit the video yet. Um, but yeah, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so it is a little windy right now, and I came here, like, surrounded by buildings and stuff in hopes that it would get rid of some of the wind uh, just so I can finish off this video. I didn't end up watching it after all. I don't think I'm gonna watch it today. But yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and end the video here. You guys can actually see what it looks like. I'm super, super happy with the way it came out. I think it just looks way more aggressive. It's something that the rear really, really needed, especially after adding, like, such an aggressive spoiler like that. Um, for the longest, I kind of wanted to go back to that little simple spoiler. And I think the reason for that was because the diffuser just looked so simple to me. Um, it didn't look aggressive at all and it just it didn't complement the spoiler well. I think now it actually looks a lot, a lot better and I'm really happy with the way it came out. Once again guys, the fitment was not perfect and me and my brother actually struggled a lot to put it on. I would not have been able to put it on myself whatsoever. Uh, so huge shout out to my brother for helping me. But yeah, like I said, the fitment, it was kind of a pain in the butt to get it the way it's on right now. But for the price and everything guys, I'm really happy with the way it came out. And I'm just really happy that it was for the actual M5. And like I was telling you guys like about the exhaust and stuff. The exhaust system is just set up a lot different on the M5 than it is on the regular 5 Series. And for that reason, if I would have got a diffuser that was made for a 5 Series, then I would have to adjust the exhaust to make it fit perfect. Um, and I'm really happy that I didn't have to do that. So yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just end the video here, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Once again, I'm really sorry that I didn't show too much of the actual install process. But it is pretty straightforward. It's just taking off the bumper, taking off the old diffuser, fitting on the new diffuser, and putting bolts on the tabs through the inside. Just to make sure it's really secure and doesn't fall off while you're driving. Um, but yeah. I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And I hope you guys like the way the M5 is coming along just as much as I do. Um, yeah, I just I think this really completed the rear of the car. Uh, I think the only thing that would be left was, would be the bottom pieces. And I want you guys to let me know, would you guys prefer the one that just goes on the side? Or do you guys prefer the one that goes all the way to the side and meets in the middle on both sides? I think it's a lot more aggressive. Or would you guys say that it's better to just leave it like this? Let me know in the comment section below. I will be checking out all the comments. But yeah, guys, with all that being said, I hope you guys did like today's video once again. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.